We are talking about simplifying radicals, and we want to simplify radicals in different forms. So here we have the square root of 100 divided by 169. And what we can do is we can split this radical to be in the numerator and the denominator. So we can rewrite this as the square root of 100 divided by the square root of 169. And then we can use our calculator, and we can type those in, and we can get uh, 10 divided by 13. And that will be the solution for that one. Then down here we have the square root of 2 divided by 15 and the same thing. Uh, we can split that up. So we can say the square root of 2 divided by the square root of 15. And the issue is here, uh, Unlike here, we had a perfect square in the denominator. Here, we don't have a perfect square. So what we have to do is we have to multiply by 1, but we have to multiply it by a specific 1. In this case, we have to multiply by the square root of 15 divided by the square root of 15. So when we do that, this is equal to 1. It doesn't change the value, and what we get is... we get 2 times 15, which is the square root of 30, divided by the square root of 225, which is equal to, uh, we actually can't reduce the square root of 30. That's as simple as it gets. Uh, and so if, it, if we broke this down, it would, would be the square root of 2 times 3 times 5. And these are all prime numbers, and we don't have any duplicates, so we can't reduce that at all. So that just stays the square root of 30. But down here, uh, we could have we left this as the square root of 15 times 15. And then we do, we know that there's a 2 as the index of the radical. And then we have uh, two 15s together. So we can take those out front of the radical. There's nothing left underneath. And so the final answer for this one is the square root of 30 over 15.